let's have a look at exponents and uh, I'm sure you're familiar with them uh, let's just do something like this first of all 10 squared is equal to 10 times 10 which is 100 now this exponent expression the number 10 here is called the base it's the number that has been put to the power of 2 and this power of 2 here is called the exponent so the exponent is 2 right let's make a little list then if we had 3 to the power of 4 3 to the power of 3 3 to the power of 2 and 3 to the power of 1 what would that look like well 3 squared is just 3 times 3 which is 9 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 27 3 to the power of 4, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So if it's the power of 4, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 has been multiplied. And that gives, you can think about it this way, 9 times 9, 81. 3 to the power of 1, what do you think that is? Write it down. 3 to the power of 1 is just 3. There's one 3 there. So if it's squared, there's 2 of them multiplied. If it's cubed, there's 3 of them. If it's the power of 4, there's 4 of them. If it's to the power of 1, there's just 1 of them. So uh, quickly fill this out then. Powers of 2. 2 to the power of 5. 2 to the power of 4. 2 cubed. 2 squared. And 2 to the power of 1. So just press pause and write down the answer to that. So you should have got 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 squared is 2 times 2, that's 4, 2 cubed is 1, 2, 3, 2 is multiplied, which is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16, and 2 to the power of 5, you should have got 32. 5, 2 has been multiplied, okay? So what about this? If we had a fraction like 2 thirds, and that was cubed. Now the fraction is in parentheses. The cubed power is beside the parentheses. That means parentheses times parentheses times parentheses three times. So it's two thirds times two thirds times two thirds. Now you might remember how you multiply fractions. You multiply the tops then you multiply the bottoms. So this would be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 over 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 27, right? So you go ahead and do this one then. 4 over 5 all squared. So press pause and write down the answer. Now the squared is touching the parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses. 4 over 5 times 4 over 5. When you multiply fractions, multiply the tops, 4 times 4, 16. Then multiply the bottoms, 5 times 5, 25, right? How about negatives, though? If we had, well, <clears throat> let's just do this before anything else happens. If you have parentheses to the power of 4, what do you think that would mean? So let's say it's just an open parenthesis, there's nothing in there, but it's to the power of 4. Write down what you think that would be. Would it be parenthesis times parenthesis times parenthesis four times, right? Exactly, right? Um, so if we had this, negative 2 in the parentheses, and you have a squared outside. Now... The squared is beside the parentheses. Isn't that parentheses times parentheses? Negative 2 times negative 2. Right? And negative 2 times ne negative times negative is positive. So that's a positive 4. Right? So you go ahead and do this one then. If we have negative 2 in parentheses cubed, write down the answer. Now the cube is touching the parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses times parentheses three times. Negative two times negative two times negative two. Negative two times negative two 
positive 4 times negative 2, negative 8, right? So what if we had, for example, um, negative 2 fifths in parentheses cubed? Well, the cube is such a parenthesis, so it's parenthesis times parenthesis times parenthesis again, right? It's negative two fifths times negative two fifths times negative two fifths, right? And you know what? We could calculate the sign right away. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative, the sign is negative. So write down the sign. Then write the fraction bar. There's the fraction bar. Now do, do the tops. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. Do the bottoms. 5 times 5, 25. Times 5, again, 125. Right? So, you go ahead and do this one. Negative 1 quarter all squared. So you should have negative a quarter in parentheses squared is negative a quarter times negative a quarter. Negative times negative is positive. One times one is one over four times four is 16, right? So let's have a look at something here. If we had negative three all squared, that is different to negative three squared. And let's explore that. We'll um, just do this. Oops, that should be squared. So we're going to have a look at the base of this expression and the exponent on the expression. So negative 3 all squared is parenthesis times parenthesis, negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. The base is the negative 3 part because that's the part that was multiplied by itself. Right? So negative 3 in parentheses. The exponent is 2. That's the power. Negative 3 squared with no parentheses. In this case, the squared is applied to the 3 only. It's, it's beside the 3. There's no parentheses containing the negative. So the base in this case is just the number 3. So this is 3 times 3 with a negative in front of it, which makes negative 9, right? So let's have a look at negative 1 half all squared and compare that to negative 1 half squared in parentheses. Negative one half all squared is negative one half times negative one half because the squared is beside the parentheses, so it's parentheses times parentheses. The base is negative one half, and you can put it in parentheses for fun if you want. And negative times negative is positive. One times one is one. Two times two is four. So it's a quarter. Negative a half squared. This time the squared is only applied to the one half. So the base is just one half. So this is parentheses times parentheses one half times one half and a negative outside it, which makes negative one quarter. Right. So let's have a look at this. You do negative. 4 squared and then negative 4 all squared. Let's see if you can get the answer. So press pause and write down the answer. Now in this one the squared is only touching the 4 so that the base is 4. So that's 4 times 4 with a negative in front of it that makes negative 16. In this one, the squared is touching parentheses, so that's parentheses times parentheses. Negative 4 times negative 4. Negative times negative is positive 16. In this case, the base is negative 4. And the exponent for all of these expressions is 2, because they're all squared, right? 
So what would this look like, right, if there are negative 5 all cubed and negative 5 cubed? Write down the answer to these, to these ones. Negative 5 all cubed. Again, the exponent is beside the parentheses. And the parentheses contains negative 5. So the base is negative 5. So it's negative 5 times itself 3 times. And if we do the signs, negative times negative, positive. Positive times negative is negative. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5, 125. In this case, and of course, okay, in this case, we have negative 5 cubed. The base is just positive 5 because the exponent is touching the 5, not touching the negative at all. So it's 5 times 5 times 5 with a negative sign here. Write down what that makes. Negative 125, isn't it? Again. So for cube powers, and in, here, in this case, the exponent is 3 for both expressions. We can see for cube powers, um, whether you have parentheses around it or not, it's going to give you the same answer. Let's have a look at these expressions. 2 times 4 cubed. In this case, the cubed is beside the 4. And the cubed does not include 2 at all. So it's 4 times 4 times 4, 3 times. And then we have a 2 multiplied by it in front, okay? So that makes 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 uh, 64, so 128, right? 4 eighths is 32 times 4, yep, 128. Uh, so in this case the base is 4 because that's what was put to the power of 3. So the exponent is the power, the exponent is 3. How about negative 3 times negative 2 all squared? Okay. In this case, the exponent is 2 because it's negative 2 to the power of 2. And that, that touches, uh, so it's negative 3, and then the squared is on the negative 2, so it's negative 2 times negative 2, right? So that gives us negative 3 times, and uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So the answer to this becomes negative 2. 12, right? And the negative 2 was what was squared, so that's the base. The base is negative 2. So you do this one. If you had 2 times negative 3 all cubed, calculate the expression, give the base, and give the exponent. The exponent is 3. The base is negative 3. And that's 2 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, which is um, 2 times, and this is 9 times negative 3, 2 times negative 27, which gives negative 54, I think. So check that. 9, 18. Okay. 